Hello everyone, we're back again for another camp, but this time is a bit different. I always keep saying my intros that it's going to be a bit different, but trust me it is. It's world camp with a tarp, fire, I have logs this time. People who watched my previous video, it was a bit of fail, so I have logs, so don't worry. We have steaks, I'm here with my 13, 13 year old son so which is happy days for me we have a tent we have a tarp we have fire we have steaks we have we have everything mold wine redemption right redemption but today we are in the campsite yeah I know I know it's a camp camp hey no 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 come back no no come back I promise you it's gonna be worth it Let me, let me finish. I know, I know it's a campsite and this is wild camping channel, but listen, just come here, come on, come back, sit down. Yeah, put that remote down. Hey, yeah, sit down. Right now, with all honesty, there's a reason why we came today in a campsite. I want to make another video, like introduction to to people who want to go camp, camping, but they don't know where to start. And in my opinion, a campsite like this is literally a wild camping site. And today, because it's off season and it's a bit raining, there's nobody here. I have the whole woodland, 48 acres by myself. And uh, if you're not from UK, in a UK it's not legal to camp. There's two places in a UK you can camp. Is in some places in Scotland, not everywhere, but most of the places in Scotland, and Dartmoor. I think you still can camp in Dartmoor. So yeah. Everywhere else, you have to be kind of stealth. As long as you keep it clean, nobody will bother you. But, but still, maybe if you're a first-time camper, that could be a concern for you. So, so yeah. After this, the whole video you're watching now, I'll make another video, a short one, two short videos I want to make. One's going to be about the fire lighting. <laughs> I know, right? I failed last time. So, but we just talk about a few things about fire lighting and. The considerations about going out world camping first time if this is something you like stay tuned i think that's what you say click like subscribe comments blah 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 right anyway let's go i'll show you the camp come on
one balance it off something of this tree there how come on We have a bit of faith from last camp oh, that I had. Right, hello everyone and welcome back. Compared to last camp, we have a fire. So it's a good start. We'll have food, we'll have steak. Oh God, this is, this is life. And Northern Monk, faith. Because I have faith today. I'm out here with my 30, 30 is it, are you 13? Yeah. <laughs> my 13 year old. And he's all, you'll try out some marshmallows and, and then we will cook steak and mulled wine. It's gonna be a redemption from the last one. We set up the top because it's raining. It's supposed to be finished raining at three o'clock, but it's still a little bit coming down. So I might, might move back a little bit. Uh, just, just, just nice next to the fire. But uh, other than that, it's good. So the plan is, we'll cook some food, we'll have a cigar, have a chat, answer a few of your comments, and that's it really. So it's a, it's a chill one really. What, do people we'll comment on your video? Yeah, I'm gonna be next, Mr. Beast. <laughs> but yeah, and uh, we're camping, my, our tent is over there. I'll show you later on, I will spin the camera around. The tent is over there, it's a bit bigger tent than normally. This is where you would, cars literally there. You can fit a whole family in there. Yeah, it's like a family tent there. This is more for sitting underneath when it's raining. But yeah, that's it guys, so hope you enjoyed this one. Cheers. Right, it's time for a steak. I bought this uh, cast iron pan and we have a very hot coal. Oh yeah, don't do that. So let's put it in there. So what we need is, we need oil. And then you can put your water like right that. Oh yes. And then we have water for to boil, uh, should I put it there? That handle will get hot. There you go. Oh, that's, that's perfect. <laughs> I've never ate this steak. You reckon I can finish it? It's okay, because it's like that, that thick steak. I don't know. Do you wanna put seasoning on both sides? Ready? Wait, wait, wait.
The idea with the rice is you want to steam it. You don't want to boil it. You add a bit of water, make it a bit wet. Because th this, this rice is really cooked already. All we're trying to do is just steam it. Yeah, they are proper thick, thick steaks. And that is exactly what you want. Now what we need to do is just make sure you don't over, overcook stuff. Anyway, we'll finish cooking and then it's going to be a taste, taste, test. <laughs> so yeah. We're doing a mukbang. I know. So, fingers crossed, I mean, it smells nice. So, see you in a sec. Taste test. Let's see how this steak turned out. It's very, very thick. It doesn't feel it. It doesn't feel very thick. It's sad because we've got medium rice, it's easy to chip. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. Everything tastes better. There's something about cooking outside, isn't it? Having this campfire, it's amazing. And on the old fire. Mm. Even the food tastes different, is it? Mm. Right. I don't think you want to watch us eat, is it? Mm. I think next one's going to be. We'll finish food. You're probably going to eat marshmallows. I'm going to heat up my mulled wine <coughs> and I think it's going to be cigar time. Oh yeah. Right. I'll see you in a bit. Redemption. Mulled wine. This time it's going to be nice and warm. Cigar choice today. It's one of my favorites. Can you see it? A Libra five. Oh yes. A few things from the previous video. There was, I had quite a few, quite a few comments giving me advice on potential mistakes that I made and the reason why I couldn't start the fire. And one of them was that I should have split the logs, which I did eventually, but it could have been too late. Or that wood was so wet all the way through that I just had no chance. I tried everything, as you, as you can see, where these logs here, they are perfectly dry. The ones we bought, those kept, they, they get kept in shed. Yes. Yeah. dry, there's no, nothing. And there is, there is no issues with these. We bought our other logs from the shop. Yeah, exactly. And stuff, so, so, dry. so yeah, it's great comments to be fair. Thank you so much. If you're a first-time camper, 
if you watch some YouTube videos and you see people camping out in these crazy conditions, it's very easy to get overwhelmed and think, oh, I can do this. So, it's, for example, if you watch uh, Bushman on Blue, this guy's crazy. He goes out in, in the, the, the worst weather, the better. He's literally just looking for storms, rains. It's, it's, it's crazy. The outdoor boys. He outdoor goes, boys, yeah. He goes and exactly. So mm. many times and he ends up making fire, probably taller than you. But yeah. that's because he's actually cutting trees down. But he's, he's, well, the point is, he's very experienced, right? Mm. So he's done this for many, many, many years. He's very experienced. That's his job. It, that's his job. But he's, he's just, he has a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. So on the, when you make these YouTube videos, it looks very easy. You watching there on your phone or on the TV, nice, comfortable, in a safe place, it looks very easy. It's not. Even uh, <coughs> stuff that we just did here, which was very simple, but set camera up, lights, cooking this, cooking that, it's, it's, it's not that easy because you are, you are out, of, out of your comfort zone. At home, it's very easy. Here, it's not, but it looks easy. So don't get kind of tricked into these things. You need to make sure you understand your own capabilities because that's when people get hurt. So if you get yourself a tent and you go out camping on top of the hill and you forgot to check the weather, you're, you could be potentially in very big trouble. You need to know your limits. You need to know your limits, exactly. I know it's, it's very nice to seeing these things on, 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 on TV and think, I really would like to wake up on top of the mountain. Well, it's, it could be very, very dangerous. So you have to be very careful. Well, start somewhere easy. You know, like you can start it, you can start it in your own garden. You know, camp in your own garden, get, you know, learn. But it's true, isn't it? Learn how to put a tent up. Yeah, and then you can go outdoors, like these campsites here. Again, car is literally just here around the corner. You don't have to hike back in pitch black for an hour if something went wrong. So just need to understand your own capabilities and be very, very careful because as much as the mother nature is beautiful, it can be very dangerous and people underestimate it and that's where things go wrong. So yeah, if you are first timer who goes out camping, for, for first time, just be be very careful and make sure you plan, make sure you tell somebody where you're going. If you have a route that you're following, make sure you give that route to somebody else. Because some places that you go, there's no signal, you can't make a phone call. And give them people estimate time that you will be back. So if you're not back by that time, they can start, start planning the rescue. <laughs> I know. That's the whole point of knowing your limits. Hmm. And I'm not blaming the YouTubers. There was an article a long, long time ago. Um, should we say this, this lady, she went out hiking and she got lost. Nothing major happened. And then she came back. Everything was fine. And some stupid news article made a big deal of it. Like, look these unresponsible influencers going out, hiking in dangerous conditions, showing everybody and putting other lives in danger and it was crazy. Yeah, it it is, well, it is a big deal, but it's not, it, it's not their fault. So if, if I make fire now, but I'm in a safe place and I can make fire here and you go out and make fire in hot summer day when everything is dry and the moors caught fire or the woodland caught fire how's how how am i responsible because you watch my video making fire makes no sense makes no sense so yeah how's how's that youtuber's fault i can see where they're coming from but come on let's just use use a bit of common sense The other thing now that keeps happening, few people made these videos about how these 
big camping companies ripping people off. <laughs> and uh, I don't know why it's only now becoming a big deal. Where before, nobody knew this is what's happening. Anyway, there, you can have a look at the, look at the labels. You can look at the labels and go, this is made in China, this is made in Vietnam. There's a reason why they do not make the product in the UK. Not because they can't find somebody who can make the product. No, because it's 10 times cheaper overseas. Clearly. So, but now so suddenly it starts coming up that it's kind of a big deal and these big companies are ripping us off. I do agree, to be honest. I do, but it's, it's, it's always been there. At the same time, when you buy a Chinese version of the same, I don't know, let's say you buy a tent, you wouldn't put that much faith into it and go camp out in some crazy conditions that you would in Hilleberg, for example. I don't know where Hilleberg is made, but, you know, see my point. So, yeah, what's the original price for that? Let's say tent or sleeping bag or sleeping mat. I have no idea. But there is one thing that I, I do know. I can't mention a company because the person works there. Is, for example, a suit that if you go to their shop, two piece suit would cost you about 200 pounds, 150 pounds, 200 pounds. To make that suit, I have no idea how they do this, just for record, no idea. But that suit costs around five pounds to make. And I know for a fact because I seen the actual papers where they're showing the, the price that they bought it for and the price they are selling in UK stores, that it's a very popular store that you, I would say 99% of all of you have been at least once and bought something there. If, if, if not you, maybe, maybe your grandma. But it just makes you think, five pounds. I do get it, they have shops you have to pay for, the marketing team, that's not cheap. The shipping costs five pounds and you sell it for 200. So it makes you wonder when you buy a sleeping bag, sleeping mat, a tent, how much it actually costs to make and how much you are selling us for. Yeah, it, it would be nice to know. It would be interesting to know. I think one of these, these, these videos are very boring. Maybe not, because it gets dark so quickly. About four o'clock, wasn't it? Four, four o'clock, it started getting dark. Yeah, and between four and half past four, it just goes pitch black. And unless you have a, a studio with the big cameras up here and, and professional lighting, it's very difficult to film in dark, especially with GoPro. If you have one of these expensive cameras, then I believe that you can. But with this GoPro, yeah, it's a GoPro Max, which is, wasn't the best choice. A purchase. I bought it years ago. I wish I bought like GoPro 10 or 11 was at that time. Just a bit of rant into it. A few, a few bits that I'm picking up from other YouTubers. What are they talking about and the latest topics and they and their opinions, which is quite quite interesting. I know Paul Meston now starting his podcast. I uh, listened to a few of them. It seems okay. As far as I know, YouTube don't really like podcasts, so we'll see how uh, how is he going to do. Um, who else was? I forgot what it was. What was the guy called? What did he do? He have the hotel hotel. Um, you have two channels. One for. Uh, going out bushcrafting and on other one is for hotels I can't remember I subscribed to him anyway on both of his channels and he was talking about the YouTube and he, he got uh, 
Is this called like a shadow band or something? Channel strike. Channel strike, yeah, I think that's what it's called. Like, what happens? I can't remember, mate, but anyway, I think it was, uh, he done something. Shadow band. That's so, and, um, and now we don't get that many subscribers, which is a shame because going out and filming all this, it's very, it's very difficult. And then, and then YouTube, oh, no, called, um, and then YouTube do that, and it's just, yeah, for content creators. And I think, I think, I can't get this off. I think he does it full time as well. So for him, it's very important. For me, I don't do it full time. This is just my hobby, and I just like to share things. But for him, it's very important that he a bit more for him it's very important that he, he gets the YouTube the, the, the subscribers and he gets the views and it's proper heartbreaking that for something that silly it was only a misunderstanding he didn't do anything bad it was just a misunderstanding and he just got now that's it you have I can't remember it was a 60 or 90 day strike I can't remember to be honest what it was, but what do you do? Um, something to do with some kind of raffle. So, but yeah, it's it's it's, it's heartbreaking. So, what my plans is for for YouTube? I don't know. I have 156 or 57 now subscribers. So, I know it's it's not a lot. I am uh, quite far distant from Mr. Beast. So, but we're slowly going to get there one subscriber at the time <laughs> but uh but yeah it's still when you think about it it's 100 don't want to be like come on but listen to this i don't think you get anywhere near mr beast mm -hmm. like nowhere near think about it he's that's got, that's how much faith you put in me yeah he's got over 100 million i know i think he just reached 200 million isn't it has he yeah oh, but yeah anyway that's how much faith he puts in me I have 157 subscribers. It's 100, 157 something people click subscribe button and watching me. And one of the videos reached just over 1,000 views. My latest one, over 1,000. My first video reaching over 1,000. So for me, that is achievement. I don't care what Mr. Beast says. So yeah, I think that's it for now. I will finish my mulled wine, finish my cigar, and then we have loads of snacks. <laughs> we have sleeping bag and the proper duvet pillows, camping in style today, are we? <laughs> camping posh. Camping posh. Uh, so yeah, and um, you know, wake up in the morning, and we're gonna cook some, cook some breakfast in the daylight. So. It, will, it should be a lot better. But you know what, honestly, thank you so much for tuning in. And the longer you keep watching these videos, the better it's for algorithm. Because I'm still trying to figure out how this all work. All right, thank you. How it all works. But yeah, thank you so much, honestly, it means, it means a lot. Check the links <coughs> below. Bless you. Yes. Jesus. Check the links below. There is my Instagram and some other stuff. Uh, time to time I put some stuff on if you uh, want to read so yeah I think that's it for now that's enough footage for tonight and I'll catch you in the morning nice and early for the brekkie it's going to be good man thank you for watching what do we do the outro? We'll go. Go like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, make sure I don't burn my lips. All right, cheers everyone.
morning. It was alright. It was a bit a bit cold. I think it dropped to minus minus one last night here. Minus one around zero. So what we have now we have fire fire cooking. We have fire burning here. We'll cook some breakfast. Yeah, and back up and go. This this will be one of the longest weighted breakfast in the woods. Normally I'm just packing up and going. I have breakfast at home or on the way. But because we have this luxury that we can stay here, we decided to make a fire. Warm ourselves up a little bit. Even my jaw is a bit frozen. Have a breakfast, have a coffee and go. Right, I'm not sure what's going Everything's a bit burnt because obviously everything is a bit too hot in here. But you know what? As long as it's as long as it's cooking, I'm happy. So these sausages are I need to make sure they cook. I think eggs gonna be very quickly. Just put a bit more oil on. All right. Now, I think let's warm up the buns a little bit. Let's grab the sausages. Should cook pretty well. Let's see if they're gonna stick to the pan, which probably they will. Oh, I like, I like my eggs a bit raw. Right. Bacon. Now, oh, should we put our Jack Daniels sauce? This is gonna be a messy, messy thing, isn't it? So it's not gonna be. Instagram quality. Food, it's not bad, is it? You watch me dropping this. <laughs> mm. Obviously, it's nice. It's messy. Really, smoke. What it tastes ten times better. Mm. Right, I'll finish my breakfast. Then it's coffee time. It's 
finally boiling, boiling. I've been trying these Taylor coffee bags. It's like a tea bag, but there's a coffee in it. All what it is, is just literally a coffee inside a bag. You can see it's dripping down. Hold on, if I can show. See, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. How many of you have ever bought these? Right. I forgot what they're called. <clears throat> they're zebra stainless steel, like, anyway, they're really good. Originally, they come with these metal clip, uh, metal, <laughs> I wish, that's the point. Um, plastic clips here. Plastic clips. It always makes you wonder, whoever designed this, has it ever been camping in his life? You are gonna put these on the fire, okay? This not been designed to cook indoors. It's for outdoor use, really. I mean, you can, but it's small. So once you put in a fire, first time, plastic clips just come off. Well, obviously, plastic and heat don't mix. You know? I don't know. There you go. Normally I put some sugar in, but not today. Oh, that's smoking. Obviously, well, you can't even see me. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> even a fire needs sometimes a little help. Oh, this is good. Very good. It's nice coffee. It's not too strong. I would prefer a little bit stronger, so maybe I need to put two bags in. Actually, I haven't tried that. Two bags. We'll see. But it's good. It's nice strength, and it's and it tastes very good, honestly. Hmm. Excellent, excellent. Right, and there she is. Another day, another outdoor adventure. So far, I mean, we, we basically we done. Oh, come on. You see me. <laughs> so yeah, so far it's been good. Well, like I said, we done anyway. But all in all, it's been a success camp compared to the last one. That was a fail. This one was definitely a success. I might, because I am new to all this, and maybe some of you are. On the end of each video, I will put like, um, what would I done differently? Maybe some equipment that I forgot. So yeah, so, what I would done differently. Nothing really. I think it's very, it, it's, it's been a success. You set up the tarp, tarp is, is very good. That end there was a bit higher up, so I put a bit lower. So when it rains, it was dripping down. So yeah. The only downside is the tarp is quite far away. So if it would have rained, we would have had to go under where fire is here. So we still could have cooked, but it wouldn't be, you couldn't get heat from it. So yeah, and putting tarp closer, I'm just always afraid to, to damage it. Well, oh, to burn it. Equipment wise, 
So this is going to be just related to this sort of camp. So it's, it, it wouldn't be where you can go out hiking and then set up the camp. This is more like you can park somewhere nearby your local woods that you've been allowed to camp. A small grill where I can put it on and I can cook. That will be a lot better. I haven't, haven't bought one yet. So if you have any suggestions of any good ones, put in the uh, comments below because I, I, I need one. Some kind of tray where you can do your washing. I have 21 litre bucket of water, bucket of water, um, drum of water, so all that is all right. Wood-wise, it was good. We had loads of wood. We had a uh, full pack of hardwood and three packs of softwood. So I, sh I should have done 50-50, really. That would have been better. Other than that, he, honestly, he's been a success. I should have got another cigar for this morning with the coffee, <laughs> but I didn't. So yeah, all in all, it's been honestly very, very successful. And again, like I mentioned maybe before, is that positive, positive experience that you want to come out and do this, do this more. Anyway, it's time to wash the pan, tidy the camp, and go home. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Okay. It's time to put you to sleep. <laughs>